If you've built a chain using Langchain and want to store it behind an API, there is a library that does exactly that, and that is LangServe. And that's what I'm going to show you in just a moment. So as you can see here, these are all the inputs that we need. Uh, I'm going to create an app with fast API. And then we have, uh, you know, our classic chat open AI, chat prompt table. And then from LangServe, we will use add routes. So um, this is what we need. Then we need uh, UVCorn, and uh, that's pretty much it, actually. Here, I've inputted my environment uh, variables. And then I created a very simple uh, app uh, using fast API. And to this, now that we have the app, we can just add the routes that take us to Langchain chains. So what the add routes uh, function needs is, first of all, an app, uh, which is going to be our regular app. And then it takes a chain or a model, basically anything that you can invoke in Langchain. So first of all, I created this route that has path uh, equal to OpenAI. And this just uh, calls a, a standard GPT-3 model. But then I created two new routes and these are not just models, they are actually chains. Uh, the first chain is named style. And it, what it does is it first goes to this prompt, which says, provide me a description about this artist's style. Artist in this case is this prompt templates variable so that you can basically ask for whichever artist you want once you make the API call. And the second template is similar, but what it does is it says, provide me a summary about the artist's legacy. And again, the syntax is very simple. And uh, that's pretty much it. All you have to do now is run this app. I run it on a local host with port 8000. And well, I run it real quick and we can make some calls to see how it works. So this is now running when you see this and let's move into this notebook where i've made some requests so remember we have open ai as path uh, then we have uh, legacy and style the thing about uh, langserve is that it supports directly invoke uh, stream and batch i believe and so once you um, add slash invoke at, at the end of of your path it just invokes the model that you want. And so first of all, I'll ask it, actually, we'll ask it again. How do I build a spaceship? This needs to be inside a dictionary as input. So this is the first answer that I got. It tells you how to build a spaceship. And then uh, I made a request to my specific routes. The first one was legacy. So the prompt template was, please provide me a summary about this artist's legacy. And you need to structure your code this way. The JSON has to contain a dictionary inside it. That has the value for the variable that we had. So in this case, artist was our variable. And I asked it to give me the legacy of, of Basquiat. And here it was, Jean-Michel Basquiat was a pioneer gained fame for his graffiti inspired style. Um, okay, nice. And the same can be done with style. So I did the same, but with Keith Haring. Keith Haring was an American artist known for his bold and colorful graffiti inspired artwork. Nice. So this is all you need to host your chains behind an API.